Hey guys, today is the first video in the series I'm going to call Lovelace Tricks and Tips. So what this is going to be is different little quick tricks and tips that you can do inside of Lovelace. For example, the different cards creating, um, the different features or new features that are coming up in the new releases. So this will give you kind of like an inside scoop of what's coming and what you can expect to be able to do inside Lovelace. Um, so the first video we're going to do today is really simple. All we're going to be doing is creating an entities card. So let's get into it. First, what we're going to do um, is we have a blank slate here. It's a blank view with no cards. And we're going to edit the dashboard and add a card. We're going to add an entities card here, which is at the bottom of this pop up. Um, and what you can see is that brings up the entities card configuration page. Um, so here, what we can do is configure everything about this card. Um, so the first thing we can do is create a title, entities card. So this is displayed on the top at all times and is only changed whenever you change it um, in the configuration. The theme, uh, we can go over that a little bit later in a, another video, but you're able to theme a card, changing the font color, the background color, the text color, um, anything like that is all configurable via the theme. Um, the show header toggle. So what this does is this is, allows a toggle, just like the one you're seeing here, to be up in the top right of this card. Um, that only shows if there are at least two entities that have a toggle. Um, so what that means is if we have a switch, let's say we have an AC switch and a decorative light switch, you'll see that this toggle automatically shows up at the top. And that is to, or that is to control all of those toggleable entities at once. So for example, I will go ahead and toggle this. You'll see that this decorative lights, which was on, turned off, and the AC didn't change because it was already off. Now, if we click it again, you'll see that these, the AC will turn on and the decorative lights will turn on. Okay, so now you see that this is blue and the decorative lights is on and the lightning bolt is blue. So what that does is just allows you to control all the entities within the card at the same time. We're gonna turn it off for now. Color icons based on state. So if we turn that on, you'll see that the AC and the decorative lights have a different color icon. So for now, if I turn the AC off, you'll see that the icon goes back to blue. What this does is entities that have an on and off state will color their icon a little bit differently. So in this case, we're turning it from blue off to yellow on. Um, and that just gives you a little bit more of a visual cue to if your entity is on or off. Uh, now next, you'll see that we have a lot of rows here, bottom, and they're called entities. So here we can add, subtract, move entities within this card. So for example, let's add a garage door. Add this cover entity. You'll see over here on the right, it automatically updates, which is really nice. And we're able to control our garage door via these arrows. You'll see that now the garage door has been turned on or it's um, the garage door is open. And if I close the garage door, the icon turns back to blue and the garage door is closed and the icon actually updates. So now it's an open icon and now it's a closed icon, which is really cool. Um, the next thing we can do is delete entities off of the entities card. So if I click this X here on the entity, you can see that the garage door cover here has is no longer on the entities card. Um, and the last thing that we can do here is actually move entities within the card. So now I've moved the decorative lights to be the second row. I can move it back down to be the last row. Um, so this is a nice little feature that is was currently or really recently added to Lovelace was the drag and drop. Um, it gets rid of those arrow icons over here on the right, and makes it a lot cleaner. Um, that's really it for the entities card. It's a very simple, basic card, um, probably the most used card. Um, it allows you to 
display a lot of information for different entities uh, all on one card, which is really nice. So now we can save this. It'll automatically be added to our view. And we can go ahead and interact with it here, turning on our decorative lights, turning on our AC. And we can also view all of our sensor data. That's it for the Entities card. Um, if you like these videos, give it a like. You can subscribe and um, come back for more as I get into more in-depth cards and more in-depth features. Also, I'll be make sure to get the most recent features that we have in dev. Um, and I will update those videos and get those out to you before they even come out.